Lewis Hamilton has just revealed some groundbreaking updates about his upcoming move to Ferrari. The seven-time world champion confessed that the transition is shaping up to be far more challenging than he ever expected. The biggest shock? His trusted race engineer Bono won't be joining him. Let's dive into what he's really up against behind the scenes. Hamilton has opened up about his coming move to the Scuderia, saying that adapting to the new environment might prove to be tougher than he thought. The British driver is bound by a clause in his Mercedes contract that keeps him from having any contact with the Ferrari team at Maranello until the end of 2024. This means Hamilton will be diving into a completely new environment with barely any time to adjust. It's not just a professional shift, it's a complete overhaul of his working and personal life. And given that his race engineer, Peter Bono Bonington, won't be making the move with him, things will not get any easier. When Hamilton's Ferrari deal was first announced, there was a lot of talk about whether Bono, who has been by his side throughout his time at Mercedes, would follow him. After weeks of radio silence from the camp, Mercedes finally broke the news just before the Dutch Grand Prix. Bono isn't going anywhere. Instead, he's stepping into a new role as head of race engineering at Mercedes. Similar to the position Max Verstappen's race engineer Gian Piero Lambiase holds at Red Bull, Mercedes also revealed that Bono will remain the trackside race engineer for one of their drivers. All signs point to Kimi Antonelli, the young F2 sensation who's rumoured to be Hamilton's successor at Mercedes. According to multiple sources, Mercedes is set to officially announce Antonelli as their 2025 driver during the Monza Grand Prix weekend. There's even talk that Antonelli might get behind the wheel during a free practice session at Monza, giving fans an early look at what's to come. Bono and Antonelli crossed paths for the first time during a private Pirelli tyre test at spa Francorchamps, and the young Italian made a lasting impression. In fact, his performance was so impressive that it reportedly influenced Bono's decision to stay with Mercedes. Bono has a track record of supporting young talent in Formula One, and this could be the beginning of a new, exciting partnership within the Mercedes camp. As the F1 paddock reunited at Zandvoort after the summer break, Hamilton finally spoke out about all these developments. When I joined this team, I just came in, and Bono was the current head engineer at the time, Hamilton explained. It's got to be someone you get on with. It's got to be someone that you ultimately are able to find it easy to build a relationship with and trust. So the next one, that's going to be a discovery process. I'll know early on whether or not it's going to work or not. I think it's just about communicating. Reports from the Italian publication Formu1A.Uno suggest that Ferrari has already assigned Riccardo Adami to be Hamilton's race engineer. However, there's some uncertainty surrounding this arrangement, as Adami hasn't yet decided if he wants to remain with the Maranello-based team. Adami has previously worked with four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel during his time at Ferrari. Now for the past four years, he's been the key figure in Carlos Sainz's race strategy, guiding the Madrid-born driver to his three race wins. But with Sainz set to move to Williams in four months, Adami has reportedly entered what's being described as a period of reflection. He's now contemplating his future with Ferrari and whether he wants to continue in his current role. The publication also reports that earlier this year, Hamilton reached out to Sebastian Vettel over the phone to discuss Adami's qualities. Hamilton wanted to get a better understanding of what it might be like to work with Adami, effectively scouting out his potential future colleague at Ferrari ahead of his arrival this winter. Hamilton also has some concerns about the high workload that he will experience upon joining Ferrari. It's tough, he continued, that makes it pretty difficult. I think it's probably the same for anyone moving into a new office. It's not until you go, it'll be very heavy loaded starting next year. As Hamilton heads to Ferrari's Maranello base, he'll be reconnecting with Loic Serra, who's leaving Mercedes in October to take on the role of head of chassis performance engineering at Ferrari. Despite this, Hamilton isn't expecting a large number of Mercedes staff to join him in the move. Asked if he anticipated more team members making the switch, he said, Not that I know of. A few people are going like Loic, who I've worked with. There's someone there that left me a long time ago as my number two job. So I know him. He's the one I know mostly there apart from Fred, Vasseur, Ferrari team principal. And then I don't know anybody else. The coming change will be a pretty emotional one for the British driver.
His partnership with Bonington has been more than just a working relationship. Over the past 12 years, the two have forged a pretty close bond, which we caught a glimpse of after Hamilton's win at Silverstone earlier this season. Their collaboration has been a big part of Hamilton's success, making the upcoming transition to a new engineer all the more significant. Talking about whether any talks had taken place behind the scenes about a potential move for Bono, Hamilton said, I think like seven years ago maybe, or five years ago, something like that. I remember there was like a, probably a joke, that it would be amazing to be at Ferrari one day. But no, we've not had any discussions about Bono joining me there, said Hamilton. I'm so happy for Bono. I really just ultimately wanted him to do whatever was best for him. Where he is in his life, he had to make the best call for what would be best for him and for his family. That doesn't change anything really between us. We don't get to work together, next to each other every day, which will be sad for both of us. It's going to be emotional. But we're always going to be in each other's lives. Bono's my brother. I'm really happy that the team have taken him on, and he's got this great opportunity to grow more within the team because he's such a great asset for the team. That move to Ferrari aside, Hamilton and Bonington have 10 more races together at Mercedes, as both driver and team look to continue what has been an impressive charge up the pecking order over the first half of the 2024 season. It feels phenomenal, to be honest, said Hamilton of Mercedes's recovery. When we started the year, we definitely didn't feel that. I remember when we first drove the car, when we came away from the test, all of us were like, geez, it's going to be a really long year. We had all those difficult races where we were struggling to even be in the top 10. So to see the turnaround, I had faith that we would do it at some stage, like we did in 2022 by Brazil. I thought at some stage we would get there. Did I know it would be by this time? Absolutely not. Everyone's just worked so hard back at the factory. Everyone's stayed so motivated and focused. So it's just a really good feeling to know that we can arrive and have a car that we can fight for points with now. Hamilton heads into the Dutch Grand Prix weekend as the most recent race winner, having inherited the victory from Belgium after his teammate George Russell was disqualified for his car being underweight. This win marked Hamilton's second triumph in the last three races, but the seven-time world champion admitted it felt different because the victory seemed as if it was handed to him rather than earned on the track. We felt so happy that we had a 1-2. It was the first time in a long, long time to be affected by something like that. We all feel the pain, he said. It's from decisions and processes that we've gone through and we've missed. It affects all of us when one car doesn't finish. We lost, so we lost valuable points when we're trying to catch up to Ferrari. It's not ideal, but George took it very well. I went away on my holiday. I didn't feel like I won a race. Mercedes hold fourth in the constructors' battle, 79 points behind third-placed Ferrari, 100 behind McLaren and 142 behind Red Bull. Talking about his and the team's targets for the rest of the season, the British driver said, I think for me, we're just trying to build weekend in, weekend out on our performance. If we can catch Ferrari in the constructors, that would be an amazing recovery. If we can move into the top five driver-wise, if I can get close to the top three, I think that would be a good recovery. So there you have it. Hamilton's move to Ferrari is set to be one of the biggest challenges of his career. With new obstacles and no familiar faces by his side, he's stepping into uncharted territory. But if anyone can rise to the occasion, it's Hamilton. The journey ahead is uncertain, but it's shaping up to be one of the most exciting stories for the upcoming season. What do you think? Will Hamilton conquer this new phase of his career or will the challenges prove too much? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest F1 news.